What's up, people? My motorcycle been just painted. Very happy with the job, with the result. So it's tank emblem day. Obviously, to get it painted, you have to take the original ones on, original ones off. And what's going to happen is you have to peel them off uh, very carefully, not to damage them, especially particularly these thin ones, the Harley Davidson lettering. We, we're going to use brand new double-sided sticky tape for this. Okay, and uh, I'm going to show you how to do this. But before anything else, last night I had a visit from a Danish friend who lives in Almeria. He's going back to Denmark for a couple of months. This one's for you, Kim. Best of luck up there. I'm sure everything is going to turn out for the best. So, let's get started, people. Okay then, let's get started now. These are the tools and materials you're going to need. A set of tank emblems, obviously. These are the original ones that came from my tank. Nice pair of scissors. They have to cut very nicely. Scalpel and two brand new blades. Pencil. Measuring tape. Masking tape. Dremel tool with a nylon brush set up. Double sided automotive tape. This is specifically made for emblems. And I'm going to show you the most important tool, the one that's going to give you success. A nice cold beer. Okay. All right. So let's get started now. Oh yeah, I forgot another thing. Piece of soft uh, foam. This is called Eva. It's used widely in the shoe industry. This is what I use. It's about a little bit thick. So what you want to do is you want to get your emblem nice and clean. I've already cleaned this one out, okay. Take your alcohol, some paper towels and clean everything up. You want to get rid of all the residue. Go over it with your Dremel tool. That'll make sure you get everything off. And what you want to do is you want to start at this end right here. Obviously I'm working off of a piece of piece of wood. So I do want a nice hard surface, okay? Do some overlap here. A little bit at a time, okay? And as you will notice, because the lettering is so high and low, I'm not going to be able to cover it with this size double-sided tape. So what I'm going to do is I'm just slightly stretch it to get over it. There you go, to get as much of the lettering as I possibly can. Go. Do you think I've gotten all of it? Yeah, that's good enough. Okay, so cut off the excess. Put it flat on your board. Put the Eva tape on it. Or Eva uh, foam on, on top of it. Okay, you want to act as you want to have this Eva act as a cushion. Okay. I'm told that this is more or less how they do it uh, at the factory, but obviously with the press they do about 500 at a, in one shot. Okay, they have molds and they have whatnot ready. But basically it's just pressure applied to the back side of the emblem and it's going to cut right through the double sided tape. That's why you want this nice foam here to act as a cushion between the emblem and the hard surface that's going to press against the double sided tape. Take your rolling pin or whatever tool you may have that's similar to this. Could be a nylon, piece of rock. And just go over it slowly, but firmly, okay? The crackling that you are hearing is just the backing of the double sided tape, okay? There you go. As you can see, it has stuck slightly to the board. This is good for us, it's going to help out. And very slowly what's going to happen is that uh, that sharp edge of the emblem is going to cut right through. Very sharp edge, by the way. I do think that these emblems are made out of stainless steel because they don't rust. They polish very, very, very well. 
they are chrome, chrome plated on the outside, obviously. And I've worked with stainless steel for many, many, many years, and they do definitely feel like it. I haven't put a magnet to them. It's normally, stainless steel. It's not that magnetic. There we go. Let's go slowly. Let me brush. So you see there, you, you might be able to see the remains of previous jobs that I've done. And there you see, it's starting to show right there. I'm going to zoom in a little bit so we can take see if it to fo wants to focus. Lift it off. Carefully not. Let's see. So you see the edge, you get the point, don't you? The edge, the edge is starting to cut right through. This is what we want to do, we're just going to keep at it. Oops, sorry about that. Just keep at it. Be patient. Eventually you will cut through. You might want to do the shot just straight without the Eva foam on it. Let's see what happens. Okay, that's good. That, you know? I'm pretty sure that most of the Eva's all, uh, the uh, double sided tape is already cut. The most uh, the back end of the double sided tape is very rebellious because it's very it's rather elastic, so it tends to stretch rather than cut. The Eva foam is elastic as well, but it's a lot. It works a lot more in your favor because of the because it will stick to the surface and will it will tend to. Uh, remain there, it won't move. It's not like the back end of the tape, it'll stretch. And that's why we have our scalpel, okay? Because when you start peeling this this off, okay, you don't you don't want to peel it this way, like this, okay? You want to peel it away from the back and that's going to be, just let the edge just cut cut everything because if you peel it this way towards you what's going to happen is going to lift you're probably going to lift the double sided tape from the uh, back side of the envelope and that's why you want the scalpel sorry just to make sure you get the uh, everything the backing cut off because it's going to be the most rebellious if you're going to have a failure it's going to be when you try to get the when you try to peel it off because the backing will tend to stretch and it won't let you it won't really cut that well. Okay, so we're just gonna continue doing this. This is about to take about six or seven minutes. Like I said, you don't need to apply excessive force here. Old, uh, cool overboard on it. Don't let the emblem go over the side of the board that you're using as well. Make sure that uh, double-sided tape fixes it to the to the surface because you don't want to roll it over the edge of the, of the board and damage it. I've used this, this, this method for many, many years with complicated emblems like this one, obviously with all the lettering. If you try to stick it, uh, if you try to cut it around with a pair of scissors, you mean, you're never going to make it. Never. It's going to be jagged and, you know, there's far too many curves and details and small angles. It'll never work. Not to mention <coughs> the inner portions of the D and the A. You'll never get those pair of scissors, not even with a scalpel. Well, maybe you will. You would, if you are very good at it. Very patient. And you change your blade a lot. It's, it's really good to see. So you see? Kind of figure you get the point, don't you? 
but we're going to be able to start. There you go. Okay, zoom in there. Focus. Probably would be able. To, will be able to see it. Start peeling it, peeling it back. Now, as you peel back, okay, pay close, close attention to the backing of the tape. You do not want to lose the backing of the tape off the surface that's going to remain, of the double sided tape that's going to remain on the emblem. Because once you go with the rolling pin over it without the backing, you're going to lose the adhesive power of the tape, obviously. And you want as much as you can get. Don't touch the tape. Don't uh, roll over it without noticing that you've taken the back and the back and cord, the back and side off of it. Eventually, what's going to happen is that you will get to this point. Okay, you will notice that. How cool is that? Obviously, it's a tedious and boring process. I'm not going to show everything because there's no need. You already get the point. This is what you're trying to get. You're trying to get double-sided tape right through the back edge of the emblem. That are flat, and we're just going to go with a nice scalpel blade. Now, the purpose of this right now is not to cut through the double sided tape, but rather to cut right through the backing of the double sided tape, which is the most rebellious part. It's, it's kind of hard, isn't it? That's the one that's going to give you most work. Press hard against the, the words, against the emblem, bless the emblem. Press the emblem hard against the board. Okay, you see what happens is that, look, you see? Right, let me get a close up here so you can see it better. Okay, you see? What you have to do is just go slightly over. You don't have to apply too much pressure, see? See what's going to happen? No. Somebody's starting to come out. The foam is definitely cut. Got some school kids passing right in front of my door right now. Small town where I live, it's very quiet. It's very peaceful. Kids are scandalous by nature. But they say, see, this is what we all do. You just go over. And if you do notice that the uh, foam is sticking, that the, what is sticking is part of the foam, okay, that you haven't, that the animal hasn't gone through, just okay, grab your foam, or grab your rolling pin, sorry. Just go over it again. In any case, I think you get the point, don't you? You want to stretch out, you want to straighten out the emblem afterwards because it does tend to deform slightly in the sense that it will
not being straight lined necessarily. The text, okay. So what you want to do is make absolutely sure that you have Holly Davidson lettering the bottom portion are straight. All the words are straight. Stop so you can check. So you can see exactly what's going on here. See? There we go. And what you want to do is just do the same thing for the entire emblem. Eventually, you will get to this stage. To this stage. In fact, this one right here is looking even better. Okay, so we're all, we're all set and ready to go. We got both of our emblems ready. What we're going to do now is we're going to change over to the bike. I'm going to start getting our reference points where we want to stick these. We want to make sure that they are, you know, as close to as possible being symmetrical. And it's going to be hard if you go a little bit off on one side from the other. It's going to be hard for somebody to notice that. You, but you want to do you want you want to do a good job, okay? So that's what the masking tape is going to come in. It's going to help you out, set everything up, okay? Right. And I more or less have it uh, in my mind where I want it. I want to put this one on. And then I'm going to start measuring from the uh, tank console and the front bolt where it look, more or less it falls and get the other side just like this one. This paint job is beautiful. It's great. Satin black with some satin black lacquer. What this means is it's silky smooth because it's got some lacquer on it. Maintenance wise, it's absolutely beautiful. Very happy with the result. It didn't take me that long to paint it either. Three days. Shabby job if I may say so myself. Not a professional painter at all. Just a good care of you as a professional boat paint, but a friend of mine let me use. To me, this looks just not right. So I need my thing. So I'm going to carefully peel back my backing tape off the emblem. that curvy side of the tank and help out the double sided tape as much as possible. Okay, so let's go over to the other 
side. Do that and we're done. Okay, so we're all set. Okay, I do know that the lettering follows this path. It's gonna be very, very close to the other side, if not identical. You know, it really doesn't matter because you're not gonna have, you're not gonna be able to see both sides at the same time, are you? But you do wanna get it as close as possible. Okay. Especially the beginning here and the height, because that you won't be able to see from the front side. Okay, so I got all my lines straight. I know the path it follows. Got my surface cleaned up. Let's just do the same thing that we did for the other side. Okay. Grab my emblem, take off the back end of it carefully. Not to leave any behind. Straighten out the thing if it's a bit crooked and we're not going down. Start at the front and just lay it. Make sure you don't lay it on top of the uh, masking tape, okay? Take the masking tape off. Okay. There you have it. This is the way I stick my emblem back onto the tag. I hope it helps you. Okay. And uh, we're just going to continue with everything else that we've got uh, pending to do on this bike. Uh, front brake caliper and whatnot. Drive safe. Enjoy your time.